Scoops, it's me Steph and tonight I'm in North London. I'm interviewing John Carter aka Monkey Mafia. So let's get on with it. Here he is, John Carter of Monkey Mafia. Hello. Welcome to your Nine Scoops. Oh uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Um, now you must get asked it all the time, but why Monkey Mafia? Uh, <laughs> gee. I'm expecting something you know really what? funny now. Um, it was a reference to the record companies of when I was doing stuff, I just, I never had massive respect for the record companies and I thought it's a bit of a monkey map here and I actually ended up with the name itself, a bit of a backslap, so. So not massive at all when it's going. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I prefer uh, things a little less organised. Oh, I like it. Yeah. So uh, what kind of monkey do you think you are? Uh, King of the Swingers. King of the Swingers, like it. And uh, you're from Essex. I was born 40 feet in Essex, so yeah, I was. What are your thoughts on the Anyways Essex and the attention that Essex is getting at the moment? Um, I, my main thought is I can't believe I've never seen it. You've never seen it? That's, that's question number seven. <laughs> no, that's I... not in the springs. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen it? No, no. Did you know it's created more money for the British economy than the Royal Wedding did? True story. <laughs> True story. You can have a question back for that. That's excellent news. I did not know that. <laughs> How? Brilliant. And everything. We probably we, we lost a lot of money on the Royal yeah. Wedding just for security levels and yeah. hiring out, so yeah. But on the plus side, the Jazzle sales are up 700%, so thanks Essex. Yeah, thanks Essex. Yeah. Right, let's get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> now everyone these days is a sort of DJ or bedroom DJ, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think that's because you're a very successful DJ? What's Had your my secrets? Moments. Playing quality tunes like this. <laughs> New Monkey Mafia record. Um, my secret, it's probably harder now than it ever was starting, but when I started I just played what I absolutely loved and managed to get around all these different places and pull tunes out of different vinyl record shops in all different cities all around the world and just my own personal taste put together a collection no one else had. And every DJ that travels around and yeah. finds things, you have to pick things that you like and get your own style, know your records. If you could do a DJ set for anyone, dead or alive. If I could do... DJ set for anyone. For anyone? Yeah. Or they could join you. Bring them back from the dead, you like Vincent Price anyone. style. Okay. Yeah, anyone. Um, for, for anyone, as a... Well, do chill out stuff for Gandhi. Nice, Gandhi, good answer. Thank you. Uh, well, one question we always ask on Nine Scoops is, if you could be a scoop of ice cream, what flavour would you be and why? Pistachio, because it messes with your brain. Oh, does it? Well, it's just it's, it's green. It's meant to be pistachio. It oh, tastes like marzipan. It's just berserk. It's nice. I was thinking... I like, hate it. I was thinking, pistachio is hallucinogenic. I didn't know this. I know, it's just, just weird. don't make any sense. I like it. I don't, don't like the taste. I like the like concept. like the idea of it. Yeah. All right. And uh, ice cream's cold. Ice cream is cold, yeah, yeah. So is the North Pole. The North Pole's freezing, yeah. If you were stuck in the North Pole, yeah. what five items would you take with you in order to survive? Five items? Um, well, a lot of the money generated by the only way is Essex. That would do a lot for... <laughs> bog roll. Uh, bog roll, right. Radio. Okay. More bog roll. Um, you, could, maybe you could eat it as well, as use it. Pickaxe and some slow people. Slow, slow people? Slow people. As in not moving very fast, not slow people. And the pickaxe and then eat them. But look, I'm in the pro park. Who's going to know? You're going to take humans okay. to eat. You're, you're a cannibal. You couldn't just take him food. <laughs> Oh, you made me feel bad now. No, you haven't really. <laughs> Let's hope it never gets to that situation then, shall we? Just move up. <laughs> so, you're a DJ. Are you a yeah. CD DJ, vinyl DJ, virtual? Vinyl, baby. All about the vinyl. Absolutely. Why? Vinyl, it's analogous. You move your hand, it moves. You just feel that, you move that, it moves the speaker. I'd rather have something where I know exactly what's happening. Yeah. I know the speed, I've been used to it for years. 
I just, there's nothing like just caressing it, moving the edge. So you'll know exactly how to do it. I don't need headphones up and do it blind. No. That's it. And that's why you've been so successful for so long? Um, and loving it. And you love it. So what's next for you then? Uh, Monkey Mafia, doing the festivals, doing Secret Garden Party, doing nice. Beat Herder, doing Reggae One Love Festival. And there's more coming in already. And there's, uh, there's a whole album of the stuff coming out too. On is, this, is this the album? Nice up. No, there's more stuff. That's the first single. Oh, first single. Um, well, thanks very much for speaking to us. Thank this you. Nine Scoops. Thank you, Nine Scoops. Hi, I'm John Carter, Monkey Mafia, Keeping Mellow Nine.